Hello, and welcome back to Programming Like It's 1979. Someone in the comments asked for another practical example of using the machine language monitor to accomplish a task. And rather than come up with a synthetic example, I decided to take a practical example. One of the most common things that even people who did not program in 6502 assembly language would do uh, would be to crack games, to de-copy protect them so that they could make archival copies in the, the pure case and uh, copy and steal the software or pirate the software, give it to their friends in the maybe not so pure case. So one of the videos I did was on a wonderful little game called Sabotage, one of the first games I ever played on the Apple II. And let's take a look at what all is involved here. Before we look at the game, how would you do this if you weren't an expert? Well, uh, there were books and uh, magazines. In particular, there was one magazine called Hardcore Computist that uh, was famous for basically collecting tips from the community um, instructions on how to deprotect games. So you might go and grab your copy of Hardcore Computers number 12, or as in this case, a book that kind of collects up those issues and uh, find the game or software that you wanted to copy. So let's take a look here. We have some text here describing what sabotage is. And the game, uh, excuse me, the, the article basically gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to deprotect it. Well, let's, let's follow right along here. So let's go ahead and deload Sabotage. We now have the program in memory. We will drop into the machine language monitor and we will look at, let me see the memory addresses we need. We will look at those memory addresses and we can see that the last two bytes there are 001D. Uh, this is a little Indian system, so we swap them and we get 1D00. Let's disassemble that code. All right, so what the um, soft key rep rep recommends here is that uh, their analysis is that all the code from 1D00 to 1D1E is checking for the presence of the original uncopy protected disk. And so their suggestion was just go ahead and save a new copy, B save a new copy of this starting at 1D1F. Looking at this code, what we can see is that some other enterprising pirate has already been here. And what they did was they replaced the very first instruction um, of the program with a jump instruction. And it says jump to 1D1F. And if we look at 1D1F, we can see that um, this certainly looks like valid program code and we'll try it in a, in a couple minutes to actually uh, make sure it works. One thing that might jump out at you here is what's up with 1D03 and 04? Why are those garbage? And this is something you see a lot in the machine language monitor, especially looking at copy protected programs. Um, like many CPUs, the 6502's machine code uses variable lengths for instructions. So you, you're not guaranteed that every instruction is going to be one byte or two bytes or three bytes. Uh, in fact, you could see that 1D00 is three bytes. The instruction at 1D10 uh, is uh, 1D10, excuse me, is two bytes. And because of that, because our enterprising young pirate has come in here and put a three byte instruction where probably there was a two byte instruction before, the offsets then are wrong as we uh, march through memory. Well, enough of this. Let's see if our crack worked. We're going to type 1D1F. We're going to jump to that memory location. And it has worked. Well, you know, uh, copying software uh, was the norm back in 1979. Uh, you you kind of hate to say it. I don't feel good about it. But uh, I can count on maybe two hands the number of games I actually bought. I want to say Ultima 2 was the first game that I actually paid for uh, with money out of my own pocket. Um, it was normal for people to trade discs. And 
the market was so much smaller then, you really do have to wonder um, how that felt to be someone who put their heart and soul into making a product like Sabotage or like something else and to see people just trading it like baseball cards. Uh, I don't feel great about it now, if I'm honest, but that's kind of how it was. And uh, all we can do now is, is try and learn from it. This has been Programming Like It's 1979. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna play me some Sabotage. Thank you.